This is Rhea. Welcome to Little Stories for Tiny People. Oh, you're not tiny? You're big? Well, that's cool too. Today I'm joined by one of my best pals, Felicia the Fox. Felicia doesn't talk much, but she is waving hello to you with great enthusiasm at this very moment. So give Felicia a wave if you're so inclined. All right then. Felicia is joining me today because I have an extra special story to share with her and with you about a little fox. This particular little fox's parents have gone out for the evening. Little fox's auntie is babysitting. Little fox adores her auntie, but what she really can't wait to do is go to sleep. Little fox looks forward to dreaming every night because in her dreams, she can go anywhere and do so many exciting things. So, tiny people and big people and Felicia, let's listen to our story. Little Fox can't wait to dream. Now remember, there are no pictures to go along with the story. You'll have to imagine the pictures in your mind. You can imagine them however you want. You can even draw your own pictures as you listen. Okay, here we go. As soon as Auntie was out of sight, little Fox slipped away, her paw steps light. The only sound as she climbed each stair was a soft swish-swish of her tail through the air. Climbing into bed, little Fox was elated. Finally, her thirst for new dreams would be sated. She pulled up her covers, closed her eyes with a grin, and waited for the night's dreams to begin. Little Fox slowed her breath, hugged her tail to her heart. Then Auntie yelled, Little Fox! And she sat up with a start. Little Fox sighed as Auntie came near. It's not bedtime yet, Auntie said. What are you doing in here? Auntie, I have so many dreams to get to tonight. Now, when you leave, can you turn out the light? I see, Auntie said. That is a good reason to sneak off to bed. But change your clothes first, little niece. Come now, which PJs? Flannel or fleece? Little Fox shrugged. Fleece, I guess. And lickety-split, she was suitably dressed. Little Fox clambered into her bed. I'm ready to dream, Auntie. I have such a long night ahead. A bevy of dreams is now on its way. Soon I'll float down a river on a warm summer day on a raft made of watermelons that double as treats. I'll spit the seeds up to birds. They'll rejoin me with tweets. Sounds like quite an adventure to have in your sleep. But let's brush your teeth before you count any sheep. Okay, little fox said as she headed for the sink. She polished every tooth, quick as a wink. With her teeth sparkling, little fox climbed into bed. I'm ready to dream, Auntie. I have such a long night ahead. Soon I'll be hitching a ride through a garden in spring, holding ever so tight to a honeybee's wing. As he dips and dives, pollinating flowers. Oh, Auntie, I think I could do that for hours. Look, Auntie said, I'd love to see my way out, but I can't let you snooze with your toys strewn about. Very well, Little Fox said as she picked up a train. I prefer a clean room, Auntie. No need to explain. With her toys put away, Little Fox climbed into bed. I'm ready to dream, Auntie. I have such a long night ahead. Soon I'll be perched on a very high bridge. But I won't be scared, Auntie. Not even a smidge. A boat filled with dinosaurs will pass right below. I'll sip my iced tea and wave a hello. As their celebration sails on by, they'll set off fireworks that'll paint the sky. Little Fox pulled her blanket up to her chin. Now, Auntie, she said, 
Is it time to turn in? Auntie drew the blinds and returned a book to the shelf. You win this time, my little elf. Your toys are stored. Your teeth are bright. You are properly dressed for the night. It is still early, but I admire your scheming. So, Auntie glanced back. Little Fox was already dreaming. Auntie kissed Little Fox's paw and whispered goodnight. And when she left, she turned out the light. So, Felicia, did you like the story? Oh, she's whispering something to me. Uh, Okay. Okay. She's telling me she wished the story had more about the dinosaurs. Apparently, she's a huge dinosaur fan. Who knew? Felicia, maybe you can dream about dinosaurs tonight. So, there you have it. Our story is done for the day. I hope you loved it. Special thanks go out to Leilani the Lizard, who provided some technical assistance, and to Gerard the Giraffe, who retrieved my script after the wind blew it into a tree. Little Stories for Tiny People is written, performed, and produced by me, Rhea Pector. Special thanks to my in-house tech director, Peter Kay, for running my website and putting my stories in the internet for all of you to enjoy. Friends, this story is available as a picture book. You can find a link to purchase the book on my website, www.littlestoriestinypeople.com. Just click on the tab at the top that says book. I love to hear from my listeners. You can email me at Ria at littlestoriestinypeople.com to send me a sound effect for the show, art you've made after listening, a story you've written, or just to say hi. I can't wait to hear from you. And thank you, as always, for listening in. <laughs>